Hi, I'm Marcel Fishborn. I'm a graduate student in philosophy at Federal University of Santa Maria in Brazil. I'm also a visiting student at Florida State University. This video is part of the 2015 Minds Online conference, and here I briefly introduce my paper, Libet Style Experiments, Neuroscience and Libertarian Free Will. The purpose of this paper is to assess the impact of some specific results in neuroscience for discussions about free will. Free will is understood here as a capacity for making choices freely. Characterizations of the notion beyond this general one are part of what the discussion is about. According to libertarian or incompatibilist characterizations, free choices cannot exist if determinism is true. My question here is whether results from libet-style experiments show that free will in such libertarian or incompatibilist sense does not exist. Libet-style experiments were originally conducted in the 1980s by Benjamin Libet and colleagues, and more recent versions have been conducted too. These experiments are designed to identify and measure neural antecedents of choices. Consider a recent version of these experiments conducted by Soon, Brass, Heise and Heinz, reported in a 2008 paper. In the experiment, subjects were asked to choose between a left and a right button, press it immediately after deciding for one of them, and then report the time of the decision. During this process, their brain activity was scanned using fMRI. By employing advanced decoding techniques, the authors were able to show that the special pattern of activation in some brain regions contained predictive information about which button the subject will choose and press. This information was available in the brain at about 7 to 10 seconds before the time subjects reported to have made the decision, and it predicted the result with nearly 60% accuracy. In more precise terms, the authors were able to identify some patterns of neural activity whose occurrence indicated that a particular decision would follow with a probability of approximately 60% when the chance probability is 50%. What's the impact of this kind of result for the question whether human beings have free will in a libertarian sense? There are at least two positions on this issue in current literature. According to some people, these results provide a strong case against the existence of free will so understood. The results will show that our choices are determined by those preceding neural patterns of activity, and since libertarian free will is incompatible with determinism, it could not be a real phenomenon. However, others have disagreed. They argue that determinism, as understood in traditional discussions about free will, is a thesis that neuroscience could not even in principle support. It's a thesis to be established at best by fundamental physics, but certainly not by neuroscience. If you are interested in these and related questions in philosophy, I invite you to discuss these and other papers of the 2015 Minds Online Conference. Thank you.